good morning class 11th class 11th let's start with our first poem a photograph by shirley tolson students see the title of the poem a photograph a photograph is symbolic of such pleasurable moments in life which leave an indelible imprint on our mind and past memories keep flashing back into our mind when we look at the photograph years later with the help of photograph we can leave we can keep our past memories alive and remember students whatever the situation is when we look at the past memories which are of great moment i would say then definitely there would be a smile on our face we all know that as the time passes lot of harsh realities bitter realities of life they are there in our life as we know that time and tide wait for none death comes as the greatest leveler it is the inevitable end of all but there is something which remains permanent with small changes that is nature the human life changes as the time passes but the nature remains same so today we are going to discuss that with the help of a photograph a girl named cyril tolson keeps the past of his mother alive and remembers the saying or the days of her mother and becomes delighted in sorrowful days or time let's start with the poem the cardboard shows me how it was the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling each one holding one of my mother's hands and see the big girl some 12 years or so all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera a sweet face my mother's that was before i was born and the see which appears to have changed less was their terribly transient feet here the poetess describe the cardboard shows me how it was how it was means now she is looking at the past of her mother when she went to the sea beach for paddling with her two cousins and uncle the cardboard shows me how it was means the cardboard suppose if the question comes what do you mean by the cardboard cardboard denotes the molded photograph of the mother and her two cousins right the poet used the word because the photograph is being old now worn out and faint moreover it is surrounded by a frame that's why the word cardboard here used so the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling paddling to stand bare feet in shallow water okay means the children poet's mother or her two cousin they were running or they were standing in the shallow water which is up to knee each one each one here refer to the cousins cousins of whom cousin of the poetess mother now here the poet is looking towards the photograph of her mother and she is thinking of her past okay she is thinking of her past when her mother with her two cousins and their uncle they went to the beach for paddling each one holding of my mother's hands and see the big girl who is the big girl poet's mother some 12 years or so so what was the age of poet's mother at that time 
the age of poet's mother was 12 years or so when she went for paddling all three stood still to smile all three who are all three poet's mother and poet's mother's cousins right all three stood still to smile through their hair which literary device has been used here dear student see stood still smile so the sound of s or you can say this letter is being repeated so that is alliteration that is alliteration three through there again t is being repeated that is again alliteration so all three stood still to smile through their here at the uncle with the camera now the three girl they are standing in the shallow water or their hair scattered over their faces and they are smiling at their uncle who is going to capture their photograph or you can say who has captured their photograph now they are looking at the uncle and the uncle captured their photograph in when we are talking about the captured the photograph it means at that time we have captured the time we have captured the old time we have captured the memories as we all know that as the title a photograph a photograph shows how time takes its toll on life okay and what we do we try to capture the moments we try to capture the moment so here when the uncle captured the photograph he captured that moment so till here any problem dear students the cardboard shows me how it was when means with the help of the cardboard with the help of that photograph the poet understood yes her mother when she was about 12 years or so she went for paddling with her cousins and the uncle captured the photograph when they were standing in the shallow water and their hair scattered over their faces a sweet face a sweet face my mother's at that time when poet's mother she was of 12 years her mother's face was very sweet because she was very young that was before i was born right that was before i was born because at that time the mother says it was 12 years or so means she was herself a child so that was the age of mother or that photo has been captured before the birth of the poetess and the sea which appears to have changed less now poet is thinking that the cap photograph had been captured long time ago and there are so many changes have taken place in her life but and the sea which appears to have changed less but there is one thing which changed less and what was that that was the sea because it is nature nature remain as it is it does not change because it is everlasting it is permanent whereas as the time passes lot of changes take place in the life of human right now see the poet is quite alone because her mother is no more now her mother is no more so she is looking at the photograph she is smiling just remembering that my mother past was beautiful so she is telling the sea which appears to have changed less was their terribly transient feet was their terribly transient feet first see the repetition of t terribly transient feet there is use of its literary device there is use of alliteration and this use of alliteration here to comment upon the small feet of children which are not going to remain so for long they have been described terribly transient feet which are temporary see you just imagine this condition like when we go to the sea beach okay the sea wave comes and washed our feet and moved back 
washed our feet doesn't means the footprints the footprints on a wet beach are washed by the sea waves in no time it happens or not when the sea waves are back okay we move there we walk there and our footprints are there but again when the sea waves come they washed our footprints i hope up to here there is no problem students if you have any problem you can discuss with me right now move to the next some 20 30 years later she would laugh at the snapshot some 30 20 30 years later she would laugh at the snapshot see betty and dolly she would say and look how they dressed us for the beach the sea holiday was her past mine is her laughter both ray with the labored ease of loss some 20 30 years later she would laugh at the snapshot who would laugh at the snapshot see here used for whom see here used for the poet's mother poet says that my mother when she looked at that photograph after 20 or 30 years she would laugh definitely right suppose if we see our own childhood photographs right now definitely we shall laugh right so the poet is thinking that some 20 30 years later she would laugh at this snapshot and she might have said see betty and dolly she would say see betty and dolly who is betty and dolly poet's mother's cousin betty and dolly poet's mother's cousin and look how they dressed us for beach it means they might have been dressed in funny dresses okay and look how they dressed us us here used for whom us here used for the parents of poet's mother and poet's mother's cousins right their parents we can say the sea holiday was her past mine is her laughter both ray with the labored ease of loss here the poet just wants to say that none can hold or capture the time none can hold or capture the time changes come and person has to accept them though we all know that this loss is very painful it can be very harsh see the child lost her mother it's a huge loss this is not the small one it's a huge loss but what can we do we have to accept this loss with ease only then we can move forward in our life so we are to accept the loss whenever though we know that it's a huge loss for a child because now the poet lost her mother and the death have parted the two death have parted the two who poetess and her mother and she says mine is her laughter here i would say that her mother's laughter is treasure for her the sea holiday was the past of poetess mother and poetess mother's laughter was the past for poet okay now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and of this circumstances there is nothing to say at all it silence silences see poet says now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived that girl here used for that girl here used for the girl who is in photograph and she is saying 
now she has been dead who has been dead poet's mother nearly as many years as that girl lived now she is pointing towards the photograph and what is the age of poet's mother in the photograph 12 years or so it means 12 years or so many uh, 12 years ago poet's mother died are you getting this line now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived that girl means she is pointing towards the photograph that poet's mother has been had be, has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and what was the age of that girl in the photograph 12 years or so so it means poet's mother died before 12 years or so and of this circumstance circumstance here refers to what circumstance here refer to the death of poet's mother and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all means this loss was a huge loss as i told you the circumstance refer to the death of poet's mother it means the poet she had lost her mother the incident of poet's mother's death is a big incident and not possible for her to express in words that's why she says there is nothing to say at all there is nothing to say at all means the sorrow of her mother's death is too big that she could not express in words so there is nothing to say at all it silence silences again there is use of alliteration there is use of alliteration it silence silences the thought of her mother's death robs the poet of her ability to express her grief or i would say that it has created a vacuum in her life so that's why she says there is nothing to say at all it is it is silence silences again there is use of letter s as well as or complete word so alliteration is there and repetition is there see student if the sound or the letter is being repeated then alliteration is there if the complete word is being repeated then repetition is there or the complete line is being repeated then refrain so is it clear now let's move to the question answer of the poem what does the word cardboard denote in the poem why has this word been used so you must tell that the cardboard denotes the molded photograph of poet's mother with her two cousins especially when they went to the sea beach for paddling okay now the poet used this word because the photograph is being old now okay what has the question number 2 what has the camera captured the camera has captured the memories of childhood or you can say the photograph of poet's mother during their sea holidays when they were enjoying their moment there question number 3 what has not changed over the years does this suggest something to you what has not changed you see a lot of changes have taken place in the life of poet because her mother is no more now okay now what has not changed over the years the sea has not changed over the years it suggests that nature is everlasting nature is everlasting question number 4 the poet's mother laughed at this snapshot what did this laugh indicate the poet's mother laughed at this snapshot what did this laugh indicate it reminds poet the pleasure of her childhood days it reminds poet the pleasure of her childhood days and 
she also feels amused at the way their parents had dressed them up for the paddling okay now question number 5 what is the meaning of the line both ray with the labor ease of loss we can say that this statement implies that with the passage of time various incident of our life become things of our past lot of changes take place in our life and they become the part of our past for instance the sea holidays in the poets childhood days was the past for the mother and with the death of the mother her laughter is the past for the poet as i told you that the poet also mentioned in the poem the sea holiday was her past mine is her laughter means when she went to the sea beach she enjoyed her time with her cousins that was the past of her mother and she laughed because now she is no more so her laughter has become past for poet next question is what is the meaning of the what is the meaning of the line both ray with the labored ease of loss see uh, we have discussed this one next sorry what does this circumstance refer to the circumstance refer to the death of poet's mother the circumstance refer to the death of poet's mother and this circumstance has created a vacuum in her life a strange silence for there is none with whom she can share her feelings the three stanza depict three different phases what are they the three stanza depict three different phases of life like the childhood the youth and old age accompanied with death so dear students you will write down the question answers in your fair notebook the vocab as well okay and you will find out the value valuable lines from the poem you will underline them or with explanation you will write in your notebook also and if you if you have any of the query regarding this poem you are free to contact me thank you have a good day